Welcome everybody to the Gold Cup press conference from St. Kitts and Nevis here with us, the coach Austin Oggins and the Paris Jamal Jeffers. Uh, coach, a little bit statement of the game for tomorrow, anti-Jamaica. Sorry? A statement for the play for tomorrow and with Jamaica. Well, good afternoon to everyone. I want to say thank you for having us here. And we, as we're about to play Jamaica tomorrow, we want to encourage everyone to come on out and show the support for St. Kitts and Nevis and also to the Jamaican football team. Yeah. I echo the same sentiments as the coach. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're going to start with the questions. Just remember, everybody, we have uh, a digital friends who are going to ask you a question too. So remember, we have translation if you need it in the channels. First question here. Coach Archbell with CONCACAF.com. Um, what stands out about this experience so far in the Gold Cup after two games? What, what have you most learned about your team in these first two games of the Gold Cup group stage? We, we, we have learned that the first two games, they are very intense and very serious. Uh, we were up against two high-level opponents. So this was an opportunity for us to test ourselves against the likes of those teams. Um, they always find themselves in the, in the Gold Cup. So we know where we're at and where we want to be in, in the future. And for the, the game against Jamaica, uh, do you plan to make a lot of changes? Maybe guys who haven't played as many minutes in the first two games or in the prelims, will they have a chance to, to, to play against Jamaica? What are you anticipating for your squad for tomorrow night? Well, we're going to come out still to compete. But like you said, certainly we're going to give some of those guys who didn't have an opportunity to play in the first two games. Uh, they will have an opportunity to play in this one as we want to go out still doing our best. So they will be involved nevertheless. And then a, a question for you, Jamal. Uh, you know, Jelani Archibald is such an important player in this team. And you guys as goalkeepers, there's a goalkeeper's union, a goalkeeper unity for sure. Uh, how do you and Jelani make each other better as goalkeepers? Well, um, he he's one of our top players. He plays abroad i play locally so most times when we train we try to learn from each other but mostly i would try to look at him you know everything he does even in games so that um i could be at his level because he's playing abroad with more professional players so we do learn a lot from each other and we you know we have little chats so we could be like hey you could take two more steps because he's really taller than me so he would tell me things like i could take two steps rather than just diving from my you know, usual position. So we just have little chats and try to learn as much from each other. And then just you and all the players, all of your teammates, what has this experience been like so far? You know, having a chance to, to go around, you're playing against the, some of the top teams, the defending champion in the Gold Cup, the U.S., and, and you know, playing in some of these stadiums. What has this experience just you and all of your teammates been like? What has it been like for you all? I mean, despite, despite our two losses, um, it's really big for us because um, a lot of players who play local football have never been on this stage for players like me in such big, prestige stadiums. So it's um, it's very nice. Like I said, again, despite our losses, but it's just about the experience and knowing that we could come back again and do better. But, I mean, the camp is really good. We are taking everything in, make our mistakes. Uh, wins and everything, so we just try to learn from everything and just try to be better next time. Well, thank you, Coach Austin Huggins and Jamal Jeff for being part of the Congo Gold Cup press conference. Thank you very thank much, you. sir. Thank you so much.